Diary, hello. It's the beginning of December 2021, and this is an unboxing of the Anchor Life Q30 wireless headphones. Uh, and Anchor, of course, are a Chinese company, most uh, interesting to me because they always pretend, in my opinion, to be an American company, when in fact they're a Chinese company selling very good value products. Um, so I'm in the market for some new headphones, and one of the first contenders are the Life Q30 Anchor headphones. Uh, again, they, they don't really use the Anchor label, except in a very small type here, but if you if you look at the advertising, they, they just go by their kind of more professional or, or upper market sound core label. So you see these advertisers, the sound core Q30. Okay, so here's the box. Uh, as you can see, you've got to 40 hours of playtime, you've got fast pairing, and I've read the manual before buying these headphones, you've got various different noise cancelling profiles. So the box, back of the box, and let's go into the box. So, there it is. I'm assuming a safety manual telling you not to kill yourself with the headphones. We do have a case. So uh, I certainly won't be taking these out of the house, but if you did, there is a case. And what do we get? So it seems it's possible to get the headphones in their compacted form. In the bag, we've got, what have we got? We've got a, uh, an audio lead and we've got, and it's USB, let's see, we've got USB to type A cable. And the headphones themselves. Okay. So, I'll be doing a full review later, but you should be aware that, they're, that uh, Soundcore or Anchor have two headphones at the time of uh, videoing, the Q30s and the Q35s. The Q30s go for about, well, they're about £80 in the UK retail, but from Mr. Ramsen, I was given a price of less than £60 on some special deal that I've been waiting for. So that seems a remarkably low price, whereas the Q35s have a slightly better spec. Uh, I could come to the Q35 spec when I do their unboxing. Um, but basically, I think the only difference is their um, ability to support a, a, a better quality of codec. So you get a high quality sound entering your headphones. Now, as to whether you can tell the difference is going to be the subject of the test between the Q30 and the Q35. Uh, there's lots of other gizmos and features on, on this device, apart from the buttons. Uh, I shall cover all of that in the review. Okay, so that's the completion of the unboxing. Wait for part two, or we'll actually do a review of the features.